documentary about the food industry called Food Kills. America is gorging itself on processed food, creating an obesity epidemic. We've abandoned natural foods for chemicals. Without drastic changes in our diet, Americans are headed for a health catastrophe. From now on, we're eating healthy around here. We're going to feel better and we're going to look better. Well, looking better doesn't always solve your problems, Lois. Thanks for coming to my birthday party, you guys. And Esther, I'm so sorry you ripped your perineum doing the hokey pokey. That's okay. Whoa, what, what, what are you doing? My God, your ankles, calves, and thighs are all the same thickness. How would you like to try out for the roller derby team? I'm a registered sex offender. Flip it over. Important. See other side. Give me that. I'm the roller derby coach. Hope you guys are ready for a healthy dinner. What's this stuff that looks like sand? It's quinoa. Nope, I don't eat foods that sound like karate words. Well, this is actually pretty good. Peter, you should try it. Ugh, fine. Uh-huh. Sorry, sir, we're full. Come on in, gummy bears. Oh, you are looking fine tonight. And I'm gonna take some pictures of the other athletes, if you don't mind. You might not know this about me, but I am a bit of a shutterbug. Memory card full? Come on. Well, we need five for a team, and there's five of you here, so congratulations. Wow, this is awesome. I'm sick of all this healthy crap. I'm going downstairs to find something good to eat. There's nothing. Thank you, son. Oh, yeah. Peanut butter cup, Dorito sausage, car panini. And let's crack a Cadbury egg over the whole thing. Are you cooking in your car? I am. Is this because of food kills? Oh, you saw that movie too, huh? Can I have some of that sandwich? Hmm. Wow, Peter, that's good. I'll give you ten bucks for that thing. Yeah, me too. Wow. You just made twenty dollars from two sandwiches. Why, well, you're right. Hey, maybe I could turn this into a business. <laughs> Because you don't let me eat what I want to eat, and, uh, and uh, I am super dizzy, and there might be a gas leak in this thing. <laughs> Hamburgers where the buns is jelly donuts, and drinks where hot dogs is the straws. Mm -hmm. Another milkshake, please. Yeah, but people like this food. It makes them happy. I mean, you can eat sprouts and vegan crap your entire life and still get devoured by gremlins. You think I'm overweight. I know you're overweight. Hey, yeah, I'll have the uh, Swedish fish tacos. You got it. Let me put on my bandana, fire up my very loud what generator, and get cooking. Peter, this isn't over. What? The Quahog Fugs versus the Medford Dump Cakes. <laughs> Way to go, Meg! Wow, newcomer Meg Griffin is lighting up the track with some amazing moves. Amazing? Wow, this is a lot more physical than I thought. My favorite part of a woman's body is haunches. That'll be $16. $16? That's expensive. Yes, sir, everything's very expensive because you're paying for it on an iPad. Please make sure to bang your head on that low-hanging thing. What are you- ah! You want a napkin? Yes, please. Here's 40 blown by the wind. You'll get hurt. No, I won't. I'm gonna dodge it. I'm fine. This roller derby's really toughing me up. I think you should quit. What? No. No, I, I love roller derby. It's the first thing I'm really good at. Something bad is going to happen. Like when you give a young athlete too much money. I, I gotta murder somebody. It's time for a healthy veggie dinner. Come on, I spent the whole day making the house smell like farts. Chris, put that down. You kids get in the house and eat the healthy dinner I prepared. And Peter, you too. I don't want to eat your garbage food. Fine, I love this truck. I got everything I need in here. Maybe I'll just live here. Are you living in a truck? Not bad. I see you got a Hooters calendar in here. How do you get anything done with those rockin' knockers staring at you? Lois, tell me how fat and unhealthy I am. You do look like you put on a few. Your elbows are starting to pucker. Yeah, I mean, are you really happy in here? Oh, no, this is bad. What are you doing? Saving my... <laughs> And if you'd like to put your email on our sign-up list, I'd be happy to sell it to Russian hackers. The Bing Maps car! It's three blocks down and it's coming this way! Everybody places, start waving! This is not a drill! I'm stuck in a truck! This is amazing! Crap! 
Is it gone? The driver nodded at me. Oh, Chris, I'm so sorry you got hurt like this. Roller derby was the best thing that ever happened to me. I finally felt like I was good at something. I watched you skate. You found your calling, and I believe in you. Now get back to that rink and help your team. I think she did all right, but no one will know for sure. Everyone stopped to watch some fat kid who was killing it on Dance Dance Revolution. A local business owner has apparently eaten himself into his own food truck. Nobody look! This is a private gross matter. Oh, hey, Lois. I guess you must be happy. Yeah, it's every girl's dream to have a husband hoisted out of a food truck in a horse harness. I only wanted you to eat healthy because I love you and I'm concerned about your health. I want you around for as long as I'm around. We have to wash him with a hose. Guys, look, look, the Bing car is back. No, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Chris, what are y'all dressed up for? These are my back-to-school clothes. I start high school tomorrow. Oh, boy. You've been out of work forever, and you promised me you were going out to look for a job today. Oh, uh, okay. I'll go look for a job, Lois. I say, anybody listen to Howard Stern this morning? He had some strippers in the studio. They sounded hot. Then he made a joke about a Negro. Cowboy, astronaut, warlock, beer expert. Yeah, and I need something that pays more than my last job. Huh, turns out there's a job opening at the Pawtucket Brewery. Wow, that sounds even better than when I got paid to take part in that study. Hey, Chris, was school any better today? No, I hate it. I never want to go back. Oh, come on. It'll get better. I don't care what she says. I'm never going back. Look, you can't run away from your problems, Chris. Anyway, my point is that... Huh. La, 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 la. Peter, you seem happy this morning. You bet. I'm starting my new job at the brewery. Finally, I'm one of those guys who can't wait to get to work in the morning. I just found this note in Chris's room. He ran away to join the Peace Corps. Oh, my God. Give me that. No, Dad. <laughs> Chris ran off to South America. Well, where the hell would he get an idea like that? Wait a second. Don't we know someone who was in the Peace Corps? Got the idea from me. Brian, what the hell is wrong with you? I didn't do it on purpose. All right, Chris, we're approaching your assigned village. Tell the people to work together and drink clean water. Oh, and by the way, the word colored still flies down there, so get your fill. Welcome to my village. Our air is clean, our food is bountiful, and our water is caffeine-free. Never had it? Ha ha ha! Chris, are you all right? Oh, Chris, buddy, thank God you're okay. Hi, Dad. Relax, Mom. I'm having a great time. You people knock me off the modem. When are you coming home? How's the food in South America? Is everyone on the phone? Oh, I gotta go. Something's in the oven. I lost a shoe. No, no, don't leave me on the phone with her. Stewie? Hey! Employees are welcome to free Pawtucket Ale. We just ask that you don't drink during your shift. That won't be a problem, sir. Great. I don't have time for your Little League games. Come here, you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, I wonder how your father's first day at work went. What the hell are you doing? Uh, yeah, hey, buddy. Actually, he's kind of been going overboard lately. Oh, my God! Hey, Meg, you see my pants? You're a hero. This is a gift from all of us. Go ahead, try it on. Mm, okay. Chris, we can see your genitals. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's genitals are hanging out. Since you can't control your drinking, you've been demoted to the shipping department. Oh, come on! This is your new supervisor, Angela. Your co-worker, Opie. He is a burden of the state, deemed unfit for mainstream society. He is your superior. He bit me! Mr. Griffin, although I may not fully understand Opie's management style, he has proven himself a more competent employee than you. Chris, the Festival of the Harvest is a time of celebration for my people. Would you like to dance? Sure. Put the boom boom into my heart. You send my soul sky high when your loving starts. According to our customs, you are now married to my daughter. If you're happy, then I'm happy, because after all... What? He says he's not coming back. Oh, hey, Brenda. What do you got for me? Coffee? Damn, your ass looks hot. Oh, is this thing on? Oh, Chris, my baby. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hey, uh, you guys got an ATM? I only got $37 on me. <gasps> We've never seen that much money before. You are the richest man in the country. This is amazing. You've got the biggest hut in the village and all these servants, 
and you've only spent $1.50. Peter, this is ridiculous. We came here to take Chris home. Why are we staying? Because I'm tired of being treated like crap at work. Dad, I have had enough of you taking advantage of these people. Dad, don't you see? This is a wonderful place, and you're just using it to escape from your problems at home. What do you mean? Meg's right there. You're using these people to escape your problems. Oh, my God, you're right. Freshman, uh, Peter, I think we forgot Meg. You know what I discovered last night? Women have a fourth hole. What? Yeah. I mean, it's only visible if you're looking from exactly the right angle. I never got to be wild. Except for that time I rode the mechanical bull at that bar. <laughs> oh my god, how embarrassing! Reports suggest that all three were violated sexually before being brutally murdered. Oh man, see that? Everybody's getting laid but me. Could you let me go back in time and be 18 again? No! Coming up next, women's professional... Alright, you win. What the hell? Where are we? This is... this is Newport Country Club. I used to be a towel boy here. <laughs> Wow. I'm really looking forward to the movie tonight. Tonight I got plans with Cleveland. But we had a date. Ronald Reagan? The actor? He's president? Peter, you're the one from the future. You should know. Ah, forget it. Wow, you're really good at this game. I will kick your ass anytime, anywhere. Uh, okay. How about Top of the World Trade Center, morning of September 11th? Are you... Molly Ringwald? Yeah, how's it going? Wow, you're the biggest star in the world right now. What are you doing here? Oh, I like to hook up with random bar guys. Well, I hope you got your fill, Peter. Death, that was totally worth it. It was even better than the time I stumbled into that fat, lonely women's club. Honey, you awake? Morning, sweetie. Ah! Who the hell are you? What are you doing in my bed? Peter, it's me, Molly. Look at this place. Everything's different. This is crazy possible that when we went back in time, we somehow altered the past. Hey, where the hell is Lois? That's weird. Looks like she's coming out of Quagmire's house. Morning, Pete. Hope you and Molly can still join us for dinner tonight. Come here, baby. Let's head upstairs and play hide-and-go anal. <laughs> now, at some point during that evening, you did something that changed the course of your history, causing the timeline to skew off into an alternate tangent. Howdy, neighbors. Come on in. Hey, Lois, Peter and Molly are here. Chris, say hi to Mr. and Mrs. Griffin. Hi, Mr. Griffin. How's it going, man? Meg, stop staring at Mr. Griffin. I'm sorry, Peter. I'm afraid she's got a father's libido. Lois, this is a huge mistake. What are you talking about, Peter? You're supposed to be married to me. We're the ones who were meant to be together, not you and Quagmire. You were more interested in partying with your friends. Then Glenn came along and stole my heart. <laughs> I love all your sex jokes and your dirty puns. That's why I married you. Let's go upstairs and do it. Okay! So I can undo what I did. Or we could just make the best of this. Al Gore is president. We could kind of just take that one and call it a win. We gotta find a way to summon death and quick. Well, that might do it. All right, hang on. Here we go. Lois! Oh my god, it's so good to see you! Hey, Peter. You all set to go see Zapped tonight? And Zapped is one of my favorite movies. I look forward to watching it with you, sweetheart. Ah, wonderful! Death! I'll see you tonight. Oh, hey, Peter. Say, I was just getting ready to hit the town. It's gonna be fun. It is? <laughs> and then another. <laughs> Peter, what the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be with Lois. Ah, oh, crap. Death! I haven't screwed up this bad since I bought Joe Piscopo that barbell set. Oh, look who it is. Only 14 hours late. If you don't want to spend time with me, Peter, that's fine. I'm going to the country club dance with Glenn. I wanted to surprise you with the invitation last night, but you never showed up. We gotta stop him. And I think I know how. <laughs> Lois, if I may speak freely, as a friend, you deserve better than Peter. You deserve a gentleman. Oh, Glenn, you're so sweet. Ah! You just crushed Andy! Who's gonna play guitar? Lois, may I have this dance? Peter, what are you doing here? I love you, Lois Pewterschmidt. You had your chance with me and you blew it. Now leave us alone. You said 
what you really want, Lois? Yes, it is. Come on, Peter. Prove to Lois that you love her. It's your last chance. Sorry, Lois, but I have to do this. Lois, I couldn't bear to live without you. I came back thinking I was missing something in my life. like any of that. And hey, let's just all be grateful that things are completely back to normal again. Hooray to all the pecan sandies. Mm -hmm. 